All right, imagine living a whole year, yes, a year, without sugar. No sweetener in your coffee, no cookie with your lunch. That's exactly what one local man just did, and what he learned along the way might surprise you. Carolyn Long shares his story for today's Aging in Style. No sugar, no sweeteners, no gluten, no starches, no kidding. January 1st of 2019, Michael Mackey, digital editor for In Kansas City Magazine, decided to abstain from sugar for one full year, and he vowed to share the good, the bad, and yes, the ugly. Completely insane because I was addicted to sugar. The self-proclaimed sugar-holic soon found processed sugar is all around us, even in things like cauliflower pizza crust, hot sauce, and salad dressings. Unfortunately, sugar or some derivative of sugar is in everything. It is. Michael armed himself with some help in two ways. A nutritionist who offered him a, a simple eat this, not that list and some sound wisdom. The nutritionist said, you don't need sugar to survive. No one does. And that's what I clung to. And a meal service, fully prepared meals from morning till night. Their menu changes, I'm not even kidding, they change their menu weekly. So I never had the same thing. You never were bored. I was never bored. Yeah. All meals and snacks came from Evolve Paleo, which basically took the guesswork out of staying sugar free. Even artificial sweeteners were a no no. And everything here, again, no sugar, so. All went smoothly for the first six days, but Michael says day seven hurt. His cravings went to the extreme, and while most experts claim cravings subside after about two weeks, it wasn't until Easter before Michael felt that relief. I'll say about three or four months in is when the homicidal rages finally went away because I was nutso. Like, I was so, I was so out of my mind because my cravings were so bad. I thought about Jasper's coconut cake every day last year. What did he miss the most, though? his fancy coffee drink. So he made a proposition to his nutritionist. I want to be able to put one, one packet of honey in my tea or coffee. Reluctantly, she gave him that one concession. I have to have this one thing. And you know what? It was weird because after she gave me permission to have that one packet of honey. Per day. Per day. It, that was my lifeline. That, that let me feel like I was cheating. And even with the stress of losing his father, Michael only cheated twice once to celebrate his dad's favorite pineapple upside down cake and the second was a slice of pecan pie for thanksgiving the last day of december came with a victory a full year with hardly any sugar and i did it and are you as surprised as anyone <laughs> okay yes i don't i don't i think out of all of my friends not one person thought i would survive <laughs> like they thought i would fold like a cheap card table after about I don't know, two weeks, maybe three, four. Difficult? Absolutely. Worth it? Michael says no question. I ended up losing 52 pounds. That was just a byproduct of giving up sugar. Had I actually worked out last year, I probably could have gotten back to my birth weight. <laughs> I was sleeping a lot better. Uh, my libido had made a resurgence. Uh, my hair, my hair was growing like a weed. This little bald spot that was up here ain't there anymore. But the biggest change he noticed? The biggest winner out of everything, hand to God, was my skin. No more blemishes. No more aches and pains either. Studies have proven sugar is the main culprit of inflammation in the body. Nonetheless, January 1st, 2020, Michael decided to see what would happen if he went back to his old ways. Well, he says his gut hurt, joints hurt, head hurt, and he gained back 11 pounds. So he's back to the strict no sugar rule and plans to stay that way for good. Carolyn Long, KCTV 5 News.